What is up, heroes? This is Minute Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. In the last episode, we made our way up to what seems like the more modern Aperture facility, and we're about to start the chapter, well, called The Itch. I think we're about to have our showdown God with sake, Wheatley. Your boxes with legs! It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto bugs. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Dang. Wheatley does not seem like the, uh, the nicest fellow anymore. Interesting. Warmer, warmer, boiling hot. Boiling. <laughs> okay, colder, colder, ice cold. You're Arctic now. You're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. <laughs> Just get on the button. That's really funny. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny because we've been in this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either. So I don't know why you're laughing. You that's hilarious. Solve it. All right, so is there anything we can do in this room? Doesn't really seem so. Is that portalable? It is. Not that that'll be, oh, it will be useful. Over here we go. Aw, oh, it's so sad to see Wheatley be so not nice. He was such a funny character. I enjoyed him so much. It's so sad to see him take a turn for the worse. But it's alright, GLaDOS is our back. He's gonna go hit him up with that paradox. No, that's not gonna let me through there. Alright, well, Wheatley's gonna see us again. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's too dumb to realize it. Yikes. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. Oh boy. You have no idea what it's like in this body. You're correct. I have to test all the time, or I get this this itch. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. So it oh, seems. But I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I'm just that's why I've got to test. That's why I've got to test. It's obviously hardwired to like so the personality of Mr. Test, Johnson, I'm sure. I'm gonna watch. And everything is gonna be just. Good morning. Core overheating. Nuclear meltdown yeah. imminent. Yeah, no kidding. Test. Designed this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. Oh, really? No. Oh, yes. Oh, well done. Oh. <laughs> of course, one designed by Wheatley is going to be like a walk oh, in the park. That felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same one. And I can just like watch you solve it. Yeah, but that sounds much easier. Um, you know, I'm not really a huge fan of that. Do it again. And nothing. Alright, oh, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests, new tests. Gotta be some tests. <laughs> There's gotta be some tests around here somewhere. You can't come up with any. Alright, so my paradox idea didn't work. He's too dumb to get it. <laughs> Definitely seems to be the case. Darn, and so the, the place is going to blow up soon, which actually, for what it's worth, may be for the better. But yeah, it seems like that main power control, whatever it is, um, has that sort of hardwired uh, sort of scientific testing curiosity from Mr. Sorry, Johnson, it seems. Everything's good, I just invented some more tests. What is this? Not entirely, not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. <laughs> what does this do? Whoa. That's pretty neat. I um I think I understand what we're supposed to do. 
We gotta find a way to get back down. Alright. We'll do that. And then we'll continue to go up here. And that should activate the button. I want to confirm that it does. And if it does, then all we need to do is put something in this little beam. This pillar of light. The question is what? Can I go up here? Oh, do I need to be up a little bit higher? A little bit higher, it seems. Obviously without going in the portal, though. Hmm. Oh, do I need to... do that first? That's pretty neat. Is it gonna continue to go push me this way? It is. Oh, it's not just vertical. It's whichever direction it's moving. Cool, so we'll bring this down, we can start to send you up, and, oh wait a minute, no, come back, after it we go, I had the portals mixed up, my bad guys, sorry for spending your valuable time, we'll take you, and from down here, where's the button again, I think it was like, it has a marker on the floor. There we go. What kind of a noise is this guy making? That should be enough. So we'll just go wait by the door. There we go. <laughs> gotcha. So they're actually going to return to being somewhat, somewhat challenging. They're going to actually force us to think about him a little bit, right? <laughs> Which obviously is a, is a more enjoyable gaming experience. Wait, what? Why not? Please remain calm. Why can't you, GLaDOS? Yeah, made this test myself. Out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, it's got funnels, bottomless <laughs> pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. Absolute dynamite. How lovely. How lovely. Is there anywhere I want to fire a portal at the moment? Let's go with... Okay, I guess we'll go with here for now. Presumably going to fall into here. And that'll stop my momentum. We can fire a portal there. Then we'll start going out here. And that's going to quickly lead to my death. So we're going to change plans and try and figure something out along the way. Uh, so the blue portal is there. I wonder if I can sort of catch myself. Let's try it. Blue portal is there, so I need to fire the orange one. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, this is taking too long, okay? I'll just tell you how to solve the test, okay? You see that button over there, all right? You just... If only he knew how to solve it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Never mind. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. Yep, yep, I got it. So now that goes... Oh, I see. So that will send it over that way. And we can just hop into this. Grab this little guy. And head on out. And then... We can let go of you for a moment, I guess. To do that. And we're hanging on to him. Alright, good. Now we can head over here, and we're all good to go. Oh, yes. Well done. Thanks. All we had to do was pull that lever. What? Oh, well, no. You pressed the lever! <laughs> <laughs> but you're making the most of it. 
<laughs> That's pretty funny. Wheatley Laboratory Laboratories, hold up a minute. I got us some good news. He's going to run out of test chambers eventually. I never stockpiled them. Oh cool. I'm coming, coming, don't start yet, don't start yet. Oh, we're starting. This, I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers. Just sitting there. Filled with skeletons. Shook skeletons. Dang. Well, the place doesn't seem to be holding up too well. Um. Meatly. And there we go. Be honest, you can't even tell, can you? Seamless. 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 <laughs> you kidding me right now, Wheatley? Alright, so that's a bottomless pit. Um, we're gonna have another one of these guys, right? Yeah. So naturally, we're gonna need to set up a ray or whatever that goes through here. Interestingly enough, that won't catch it, though. Interesting. So that's the end point, right? I need to somehow get it there in the first place. I feel like what I need to do is that, and then while whatever it is is moving along there, I need to intercept it with right about here. However, I need to figure out what it even is in the beginning. How do I activate that button? Oh, it seems like it's over there. So we'll start off by sending ourselves over there. Um, we'll go over on this wall. Because that seems like a more clear-cut way to go. Can I speed up my travel through here? Oh. Well, that would have been less than ideal. Um... I see. So how do I get myself over there? What I first need to do is raise myself a bit. Where is this firing? Like that. So let's head up there. And we can just fall into the beam and it'll hold us up there, so it's not like anything crazy going on. And then from here, what? Right? So I can obviously set a portal like right here. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that so early. Well, we're gonna run into this glass. Yeah, I need to find some way to raise myself. So I think what I'm going to do first is move that portal away. And then from up here, what I can do is reset that portal to somewhere like there. And then if I do this, I should be good to go. So we got the blue one there, we need that one. The only one we can really manipulate at this point is the orange one. Which is good to know. So we're probably going to want to do something like that. And then while that is there... Hmm, how are we going to send it back? Interesting. How am I going to send it back? I feel like I need to send it over back to me. But I don't know how... How am I going to get back over there, guys? Because I don't see any surface that I can send it back from, you know? All I can think of is I have to aim and... Well, no, I know it's already on that other side. It's not like I can jump over there. Well... We can see if we have this lined up. And we don't, apparently. That's the lineup we need. So if I do that, I can bring it over to myself. Obviously. But from here, what do I do, is the question, right? Can I get back over there? Without making a portal over here, right? Is 
Is it truly a bottomless pit? Is that portalable? No. Um, I hear you, bud. I hear you. Oh, how did I not? Great. Okay, so what we're going to have to do then, let's plan this out. We're going to need to set this up like there. That's going to bring us across. And then while we're there, we probably need to... Hmm. Am I safe to just drop? No, I shouldn't be. For what it's worth, I can afford to think while I'm on there, so let's go over there and take a look. I guess maybe I can just kind of come out like that. Oh, I can. That was a lot more convenient than anticipated. Cool. And so with that, we should be pretty good. Right? All I've got to do is... Um, oops. My bad. Go up there. Fall into this guy. We can let go of you for the moment. Hello there, friend. You got, like, two heads. Interesting. And there, look, look, look at his little feet scuttling along. Um, so we're gonna want to aim there, and then here. And then we're good to go. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. Ah. Oh, disappointing. Disappointing? Oh no, it's happening sooner than I expected. He's getting bored? <laughs> he's like... He's getting bored for some reason. Aperture Laboratories is going to light up and then all of a sudden be Wheatley Laboratories. There it is. That's why I didn't notice it at first. It's probably nothing. Keep testing while I look for a way out. Thanks, GLaDOS. Alright. Alright, so that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's well destroy her way, alright? Fatty. Adopted fatty. Fatty fatty no parents. And what? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? <laughs> uh, well, um, lack of parents. For the record, you are adopted and that's terrible. And you also, nothing. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Also, but look at her, you moron. She's not fat. I am not a moron! <laughs> Wheelie's getting the schooled the by Gletos. That's hilarious. Alright, can I fire a portal over there? No, I can't. So clearly, I've got to get rid of this thing by, I don't know, doing that and pushing it off, right? Or pushing it away? Sorry, bud. And then, naturally, I wonder if we can still fire from over there. If I get rid of that, it'll just drop. So, we'll be safe. I almost walked right off. Sorry, bud. Oh, you're still living down there. Oh, not. I, no, I guess not. <laughs> so we can obviously walk on here, and oh, whoa, that's so different. It changes the direction. Interesting. So what I'm going to do then is do this, and I can then fire it at myself again, like that. And then we can just pick this up and take it out. And I'm gonna need to, well, I think what I'm gonna need to do is make sure it's not on the switch itself. So then I can put this on the switch and bring myself over there. Let's do that. Is there a portable surface there? Let's take a look at things from this perspective. No, that's just glass. So the question then is, how do I get up there? I need to go up. So that's already set. Let's um let's do this. Up we go. Nope, 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 not what I had in mind. <laughs> not what I had in mind. Alright, now that we're over here then, we'll get rid of you. And now we can go up. There we go. It's not enough. If I'm such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? I might have 
Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, for what it's worth, Wheatley, could you solve the test? You made it. But that's not to say you can actually solve it, regardless of how simple it is. What is this music? Okay. I guess that works. It's a nice change of pace, I guess. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that, I hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books. Pages being turned. So that's just what I was doing. Just reading uh, books. So nothing more on. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now the hardest one. Okay. That's really funny. I don't know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah, doubt it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not. <laughs> the association of, you know, if you're smart, you've got to be reading. That's actually interesting. I've had a couple people ask me, oh, like, what do you read? Well, well you, I've heard you can always tell, like, what, I don't know, you can learn a lot by hearing what, like, a, a smart person reads or whatever. And I'm like, I don't really read. <laughs> My form of entertainment is video games. <laughs> so, what am I supposed to do here? I think what I need to do is this. Almost. <laughs> Not quite. You can be go there for now while I deal with the rest of this. Oh, and he's playing classical music. Just seems smart as well. Uh, is there a switch? It doesn't seem so. I somehow need to be coming the other way. So what I, I think what I'm going to want to do is fire this in the middle there. So I'm going up. And then while I'm going up, fire it over here or like here yeah probably here so that then I go across like that and then while I'm going across I can go over there and then land on that launch pad and then when I'm on that launch pad ooh I need to fire a portal up there though what's gonna be difficult is I need the I guess it'll have to be once I'm on there. So I'll need to pause once I'm on there. So that'll be my my first goal, is to get there. And I said I'd do that by doing this. Oh, I'm a lot higher up than anticipated. But I guess that's okay. I guess, because I'm so high up, I could probably just launch over there now by dropping through. And it was enough. Not quite enough, though, because there's still more to the puzzle, it seems. Ooh, where is this going to drop? Ah, I see. So I need to bring that over here. And that's probably where all of the difficulty with this challenge is going to come. Although I can just do the same thing that I did with myself, right? That'll launch up there, and then I can just bring that over. Let's do that. And away it goes, and it flew a lot further. Oh, you little primate brain. I'm not actually in the room with you. Uh, oh, what, what was that? That was nothing. That was nothing. <laughs> Which Wheatley certainly does not have. Seems like he's probably going to get bored pretty quickly because he doesn't quite have the mental capacity. Uh oh, Molten Core Warning. An operator error exception has occurred at Fisher or something. Um, neutron multiplication rate at spike value. Press any key to vent radiological emissions into atmosphere. Consult reactor core manual for instructions on proper reactor core maintenance and repair. Press any key to continue. Yikes. Wheatley. Wheatley. We got a couple problems to solve. 
me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me, um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. Us? What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, sorry, <laughs> someone said something. Nice. Can I even see any of the movement though? Doesn't seem so. Alright, so that's the end goal. Oh! So we were actually moving. So clearly, gonna wanna have a light path to block the turrets. Hmm. What does this lever do? Lever. Why did I call it a lever again? Um, so again, I can always just kind of stop it like that. Cause the cube to bounce down. That's one. Oh, I can only have one out at a time, it seems. Alright. So then, what? It obviously can't go past there. Hmm. Do you know what I've got too many of around here? Monitors. I was actually thinking <laughs> today, I wish I had fewer monitors that were working. So you're just helping me really by smashing them. Oh thank you, thank you. I'm I'm happy to help, Wheatley. So I can block myself, I guess, by going like this. And that's how I'll eventually make my way up here. Oh, and this is how I can get around over here. Without, obviously, going through that border. So I needed to carry that cube over here. So let's hop on down and get it. And thank you. Thanks for taking one for the team, walking cube. <laughs> um, so now that we're up here, we gotta take it with us, right? Alright, up we go, buddy. Over and across. The other thing, of course, is how am I going to get back? Well, I guess we'll figure it out. You know what would have been a good idea? Would have been to set up one of those light walls before coming over. <laughs> that, that would have been a good idea. Oh, I'm started here. Interesting. So where's that? We'll do that. Make life easier for ourselves. Cool. Are you are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? <laughs> Yep, that, that tolerance is hitting him real hard. I mean, it's not like we're speedrunning it. You're not completely wrong in that there is probably a better solution. Certainly a faster solution and one that could be even executed more quickly. Which I'm sure would be more... Well, would that be more satisfying if you set up a test and see someone optimally complete it? I don't think so. You'd probably think all of your tests were too easy. I think so, too. Have a brainwave. I'm going to tape you solving these, and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst <laughs> of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. It's <laughs> hilarious. Alright, so we've got ourselves a laser here. It's already activated on something. What is up with this surface? Why is it all... Huh? What's going on with that up there? Is it reflecting something? No? I don't know. Regardless, um, we're going to have to work with one of these guys again. 
And the first thing that comes to mind is, where are we going to get a cube or something? Up there. So the first thing we need to do is make our way up to the cube. So, let's see where we land, first of all. Probably that, if I had to guess. Nope. Definitely not. That's where we're eventually going to have to put the cube up to activate this lever, um, which will activate this laser, potentially. Or these platforms. Dang, there's a lot going on here. So the first problem is, how do I get up there? And we're going to solve that. Let's see if this will work. Can I... Or is that too high up? We'll take a look. I, I think it's too much of an angle, but we'll see what happens when we fall from up here. I mean, I went a little bit too early, but I don't think it would have made too big of a difference. Is there anywhere else I can... Is it going to keep pushing me, or am I going to stay still? I am going to stay still. Interesting. So again, that's not going to work. Oh, can I not? <laughs> Please, thank you. Um... I guess what I can do is just set up a portal like that so that I fly up. Oh, wait a minute, actually. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this, and then that's the orange one. We're going to go all the way up here, and then we're going to do this. And that'll fling us up like that. Cool. So now that we have that... What we're going to want to do is that, and launch this guy alone up there. <laughs> and then from there, what? There's no way it's that simple. What did that even do? Huh? Was that, oh, did it bring down one of the platforms? Is that what happened? I don't, I don't know what happened. Let's see what happens when we activate this other laser. Am I gonna have to... Oh. No! My bad. So that'll probably be the last piece of the puzzle, but... It's alright, we'll, we'll leave you here for now, buddy. So I probably gotta, at some point, you know, activate the laser and have it go over there. Question is, how am I gonna do that? It doesn't look like I can intercept this at all. Will these activate, or act like those other types of, um, ones? Will they redirect it? No, they won't. Hmm, I don't know then. Oh, my bad. Oh, I can go under here, though. This is what I needed. Gotcha. So, the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, jump over this, and bring you back over to where you belong. And then, figure out how we're going to go through here. Can I break through this glass? I feel like I can. Sorry, buddy. Can hang out over here. So again, we'll launch ourselves up, and then we'll fall through this portal, and then go through there, I think. Although I can't... Hmm, it's a little bit more difficult because, well... I can't exactly fire a portal at that location from up there. So from up here, where am I going to go? I'm pretty sure I need to launch myself through there, through the glass. I could, like, catch myself, but mm, I don't think that's going to be fruitful either. I could do something like that. But again, I feel like that's my best way of actually gaining height. I mean... I don't know if it'll be enough, but we can try just going with the launch pad through there. I don't know, fire the other portal, like, there. And see if this works. Can, you want to quiet down? Walking, walking cube. Oh, that one fired us quite a bit. 
Also, I don't know why... Oh, we hit that. Do I need to be, like, more over to the side or something? I don't know. Regardless, we'll head back up. And we'll try it again. Felt a little bit too disoriented to really rule that out as an option. Alright, let's give this a go. Interesting. Interesting. So because of that, we weren't able to do it. Is there a way for me to block that? Not to my knowledge. Hmm. So let's think about that. I was flying through the air, and then I got caught by this. And obviously that kept me from really going across. But I'm definitely going to need that momentum, right? Oh, I, I... I totally forgot. This laser is probably activating that. Yep. My bad, guys. Alright, now we should be able to fly over and get that. Alright, over we go! And now that we have this we can instead redirect this laser at the wall there, which means that we can then, well, redirect it ourselves later on. Now that we have this, we can put that on there again and let you wait carefully. And now, I should have probably watched where I was putting that laser before I redirected it. <laughs> uh, where was the other one I needed to activate? Over there, cool. There we go. I see. So now while I'm on there, I can like redirect it there, for example, bring myself up. But I need to bring that one down. So from up here... Oh man. <laughs> from up here, I need to reactivate the this thing. Which means I need to move that cube. Which is a little bit difficult given, you know, I'm up here. I guess that works. <laughs> we can just move it like that. And so now that we're here, um, what we can do is fire a portal like that, and then like that, and that should bring this platform down. Right? Okay, we can move on here, and then we'll, I don't know, fire it somewhere else. No, you just solved it, didn't you? I, I told you to tell, to tell me before. Ah. Why are you making this so hard for me? Sorry, Wheatley. I told you that he was specifically designed to make bad decisions because I think he's decided not to maintain any of the crucial functions required to keep this facility <laughs> Yeah, it seems like we're in quite the uh, dire situation. Wheatley's not the best caretaker of the facility. That's There's no doubt about that. Darn, I wonder how we're actually going to end up defeating Wheatley. I feel like we're going to end up having Wheatley destroy himself. Oh, oh your facility. Alright, so we're going to call it here for now, because those puzzles actually took quite a bit longer than I had anticipated. It's pretty cool that the game continues to introduce new mechanics and gradually introduces, or, you know, reintegrates them with other things you've worked on up until this point. It really forces you to think in a, a new manner. I think that's one of the best things about Portal, is it's puzzle solving in such a creative way. So I'm really getting a kick out of that. And I hope that even though sometimes the puzzle sections might be a little bit slow, you guys are having fun trying to work through them yourselves. Or, I don't know, you're enjoying being the tester, watching me solve the puzzles you already know the solutions to. Whatever it may be. But anyways, we'll probably get more of it in the next episode. But until that next episode, this has been Night Zero. And this mission is complete.